Everyone loves bubbles. But a true hacker would never be happy with regular sized bubbles. So Sylvain Touvé decided to create these in the woods outside Paris. It looks like you get to be a kid again and play with bubbles, but, but you're an adult, which means you can do it enormously and no one can tell you to stop. Almost 300,000 of us have seen Sylvan's suds, but just how does he get them so big? The whole thing that governs this is surface tension. Now, water has a very high surface tension, and this is because water molecules like to spend time bound to other water molecules. They don't like to spend time interacting with the air. And if you make a giant bubble, you're actually making a very large surface that is in contact with the air. So you're going to need to add some kind of chemical that will lower the surface tension, like soap, Soap molecules have two parts. One part that is very happy being in contact with water and another part that is very happy being in contact with the air. What you have is a very, very thin layer of water with soap molecules on either side of it. So you can think of the edge of a bubble as like a sandwich. It's got soap molecules, tiny bit of water, more soap molecules. And this dramatically lowers the surface tension of the bubble uh, and allows you to have these giant shapes and gives you elasticity so that the bubbles can move and deform without popping. So how does Sylvan stop his big bubbles from immediately bursting? Bubbles burst when the water in the soap film sandwich all evaporates. So to stop them from bursting, you have to stop the evaporation. And this guy's done two things. He's put glycerol in the solution, which is kind of a sugary substance, and that means the water evaporates a lot slower. He's also doing this on a very damp, humid day. And because there's more moisture in the air around the bubble, the water inside the film is evaporating a lot slower. So by using some clever chemistry, Sylvan created a bubbly hack. There's not only a lot of science going on here, but I think there's also a lot of skill going on. I think Sylvian has practiced in his giant bubble-making forest. 